Dragonfly Energy is very unique in its focus of lithium ion batteries on storage. Typically, lithium ion batteries are thought of as an electric vehicle battery, but electric vehicle batteries are actually quite different. They're different in their requirements, they're different in their performance. And I wanna talk a little bit about the differences between our lithium ion batteries and electric vehicle lithium ion batteries. On our lithium ion batteries, the cathode, which is a lithium compound coated on aluminum foil, is composed of lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. An EV battery requires much more energy density, and therefore cathode compounds that are more energy dense, typically NMC with heavy cobalt and nickel. The energy density of an NMC cell makes it very well suited for propulsion or an electric vehicle battery. A liquid electrolyte inside a battery is organic and reacts strongly with oxygen. And one thing that's critical to note in this chemistry is the oxygen bond, which is much looser in NMC than in LFP. This is where you could get thermal runaway or an explosion when the oxygen reacts with that liquid electrolyte at high temperature, something more likely to happen in an NMC cell than a much safer LFP cell. A couple other things to note is that since NMC operates at a higher voltage, it reacts more with the electrolyte at the cathode and therefore ages the battery more as well. It's less stable at the cathode. And finally, since LFP is a larger molecule in general, it can last a lot longer as it swells and shrinks when the lithium ion goes in and out upon charge and discharge. So while nickel and cobalt based cathodes create really good electric vehicle batteries, our focus on lithium iron phosphate provides us with the chemistry that's very well suited towards the storage applications that are critical for our markets.